Okay, first things first. Uh, the other day in a video, uh, my solar cooking video, I I showed you my new property that I bought last year. And uh, as I was driving by it, I mentioned that I bought it because I didn't want mobile homes or rent houses over there. And uh, after I said that and uploaded the video, I got to thinking, you know, there is a lot of people that live in mobile homes uh, and are quite happy. And people, uh, it's common for people to put down mobile homes, and I'm not one of them. I've lived in mobile homes. I've been very happy in mobile homes. Hold on one second. Okay. I had to take that Rode uh, microphone off. It was crackling. So, uh, uh, where was I? I? I have nothing against mobile homes. I've lived in mobile homes. Uh, and I could live in a mobile home tomorrow and be very happy. And my comment about mobile homes was mobile home parks you know it might start off as a nice place and it's two acres over there which is enough room to put uh, four six probably eight mobile homes over there on quarter acre lots <sighs> or is my math screwed up yeah eight uh, and uh, what it turns into eventually is somebody starts renting out the mobile homes uh, and then you have meth labs so, uh, and I've seen it, you know, a nice place uh, where people cared about their property and their home and their yard. And, uh, and then they move somewhere with a job and rent their old home out. And overnight, overnight, you've got crime in meth labs. So that is what I bought the land for to prevent people I don't want living near me from living near me. And my comment about mobile homes was not meant to offend people who live in mobile homes. Like I said, I've lived in mobile homes, I've owned mobile homes, and uh, tomorrow I could live in a mobile home and be happy and not miss my brick house. So, that being said, uh, let me show you these knives here. I've had them a while, and I have just tried, I, I, I've stopped selling knives. Uh, I can't find the proper venue for them. Uh, somebody sent me a link to a website that sold custom-made knives, and I've emailed them twice and called them and left message, and they won't re return my call, so I must not be a big enough knife maker, or or maybe they don't need any more uh, knives. Anyway, I'm going to give these away. It's going to be a while. When I reach 40,000 subscribers, I'm giving these away. This knife is the one that had the, uh, uh, this attached to it the striker and it just didn't work so I cut that off and just made it like this knife this is highly polished that is uh, satin when I reach 40,000 subscribers I will give these away what else oh yeah I have been sick for two weeks and uh, I just can't see it I can't lick it I can't kick it on my own I had to break down and go to a doctor so anyway I'm getting better uh, I this is the longest I've been sick I'm not a sick person I never get sick it's been 10 or more years since I got sick and uh, it's a little disconcerting that I can't kick this on my own without without medicine that's uh Kind of, kind of concerning that my own antibodies aren't strong enough to kick whatever it is in my lungs the hell out. Oh well, yeah, I'm, I just give up working on knives for a little while. Uh, my hand still isn't 100%, my, my wrist, and uh, I've got outside things to do. But this is one I had started working on before I got a little, I guess, disgusted that I couldn't sell them. And this is going to be my. I'm not even. I'm going to make a sheath for this. I'm going to make a display box. Actually, I'm going to have my friend Dwayne make a display box. And this is going to have fancy mosaic pens and really uh, nice burrow wood polished to a mirror. That's just a primary polish there. I haven't finished it yet. Okay. So, uh, y'all come back when I hit 40,000. We'll give these away. And uh, I'll figure out something else to give away to. Thanks for watching. And uh, if I offended anybody over my mobile home comment, it certainly wasn't meant to be taken in an offensive way. See ya. Uh, one.
one final thing. Uh, I want to thank everyone who has been shopping through my Amazon link. Uh, it's made a difference. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm not going to completely offset the loss of AdSense revenue, but it's definitely going to help. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has bookmarked my Amazon link, which I will leave in the description below, and uh, shopped through that. And uh, doesn't I want to? I'm not going to say this often, because there's people that say it all the time, and it bugs me. Uh, when you shop through somebody's Amazon link, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It's not any trouble. You just enter Amazon, just as you usually would, and do your searching and shopping. And uh, the person whose Amazon link you go through gets a tiny percentage of whatever you buy, but uh, it adds up. And it helps. And I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, I'm not going to make a big pest of myself with my Amazon link. So there's that. And once again, thanks for watching.